Well, did I move my chair out of the way so I could sit near my makeup and buy makeup in a pile of pillows? Yes, I did. We are gonna be comfy today. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome again to my floor. Today I wanted to try something a little bit different around the Sephora VIB sale. And I've done videos like this in the past where I shared my absolute must have buys from Sephora that I think are absolutely fantastic. Skincare, hair care, makeup, you name it, it was in there. So I thought instead of actually buying the products in advance and then talking about them, let's like shop Sephora together. I'll like record my screen and everything and we'll talk about some of the products that are new, latest and greatest, why I'm choosing the products that I am considering buying, what I'm not buying, and also any products that may show up that I have tried that I do really like, and I thought it'd be fun to like sit down and hang out together. And also, let me know in the comments if you see any products that I end up buying today or ones that you see that I'm like scrolling through and you're interested in seeing them in a future video. Maybe we'll, once all the products come in, we can sit down and actually do a first impression of the products. And if you are interested in buying any of the things that I talked about today, I will put links down below. They are affiliate links. I make a small commission off of these products. No pressure. Just want to let you know that the links are there in case you are interested in any particular products and are making some purchases anyway. There they are. And now let's grab my laptop. I feel like whenever I do these, I think of like the gaming, you know, like I feel like I should be like playing Mario Kart or something. But now let's get my laptop. Let's get into Sephora and let's Buy some things. Have myself a nice latte. Also brought myself some snacks because we're online shopping in the middle of a panorama. I need snacks. Sometimes it's a panoramic, sometimes it's a panorama, sometimes it's a panda. Whatever the reason, we need snacks. These are Tostitos. Hint of spicy queso. Like if you have not bought these and tried them, what are you, what are you doing? You're missing out. You're missing out. Go out and buy them right now. Mm. Okay, so we have here the Sephora website. Now how I would typically shop this is I would usually go to new or I would go to new in makeup, just dropped. So starting in makeup, you know, my first love. Let's go through, okay, so right off the bat, I see the Fenty Beauty, the Easy Drops Blurring Skin Tint. And I have seen so many people talking about how incredible this tint is. Late night editing, Rachel, jumping in here for a second. In case you missed it, I did test out the Fenty Skin Tint against the KBD uh, Beauty Balm in last week's video. So you can go check that out. I did a full day wear test, but anyway, just, I hadn't tried it yet at this point, but I wanted to let you know in case you missed it. Go ahead and check that out too. Okay, bye. Next, going through, just got the Laneige Lip Treatment Balm because you guys know how much I love my sleep mask, the lip sleep mask from Laneige. It is magical magical so love that very excited about it all right continuing on here Ooh, I love when it like refreshes and the, like, the whole page just opens up new stuff uh, what else have I tried here recently I tried the Huda Beauty the bomb brows the micro shade pencil I found it a little bit on the rough side for me Ooh, this this is a brand right here okay merit beauty has been very intriguing for me. This is a, uh, a very minimalistic kind of a brand. This is fairly new to Sephora. I haven't tried any of their stuff yet, so I'm actually very excited about this. And of course, naturally, the shade that I wanted, Soft Peach, is fully and out of stock. What else did they have? Okay, I wanna, I wanna open another tab for that because I wanna look into Merit Beauty a little bit more. Finish scrolling through this page first. Ooh, Freck Beauty. That is something that I wanna put in my cart. So the way that this one works, I'm gonna oh, just open it up so you guys can see. That is not what I opened up at all. I mean, that also looks really good and it is, oh, it, my, it's not my shade. <laughs> well, that was another brand, LYS Beauty, that I was interested in, but that's not what I meant to click. Where did it go? I don't know what I did. Just gonna sit here scrolling through the main page. So this guy, so basically what you do is you dot it on and then you use your fingertips to like copy paste essentially all over your skin and you get these very natural looking freckles. So I do want to try this out and see if I can replicate the freckles that I had when I was younger. I got like this nice splatter of freckles on my nose and I loved them so much. And as I got older, they disappeared, which made me sad. So <laughs> bringing back my youth into the cart. Continue shopping. I'm not checking out yet. 
Don't you worry, Sephora. Back to new makeup. Ooh, another Merit product. Let's see if I can add this one to my cart. Oh, I can. This is a sheer tinted lip oil with rose hip oil. It has shea butter. Super highly rated. Like, look at this. Four and a half stars. This is Fairly new brand. What shade do I want though? Let's see these swatches. Mm. Oh, natural looks so pretty. Look at it. Oh, that's such a beautiful shade. Okay, and then the other one, Bright Peach, Marrakesh. Also really pretty. This one's almost like a little blush to the lips. I'm torn. Let's go with Marrakesh, the bright peach shade, because I think that's gonna look really pretty once it wears down and has this like popsicle stain on the lips. I think it's gonna look really pretty. Done. And what? Oh, another one from LYS. Okay, so I was looking at um, their setting powders and their bronzers. They're like little triangular shape, which is really pretty. So let's go in here. They don't have my shade. That's okay, I'll try a different one. Another Mara Beauty, adding to cart. I love mascara so much and this one everyone seems obsessed with. So... Also, I should clarify, when I put things in my cart, this is like a holding ground for the products. It's like my wish list. I make my cart my wish list, and then from there, I can kind of see where I've made some duplications that probably aren't necessary, but like everything goes into the beginning, and then I just start deleting things just so you know. Oh, another one from Freck Beauty. This lip and cheek tint looks so pretty and just like a nice tint to the skin. I've heard, again, Freck Beauty, they did the, the freckle thing we talked about, um, and it just, it looks like a nice little soft look to the skin, like a very soft pink, you know? And like, look at this, it's almost five stars and 90 ratings. That, that's basically five stars. Right there is five stars. Probably, probably need it, we probably need it. Boop, I'm gonna get soft pink. Very soft, very pretty. I want it, basket in. All right, back we go. I have the Tatcha, the silk powder. This is a talc-free setting powder, which is supposed to give a very nice soft focus look. I actually just got it in, so I haven't tried it yet, but maybe if you guys are interested and wanna see it, I'll add it to my little list of things to test in the like first impressions video. Okay, going through, no more lip plumpers. I'm so, I'm so over the bee sting lip plumper thing. All right, um, the Benefit Cosmetics, their real magnet extreme lengthening mascara. To me, this mascara, I've honestly been trying to figure it out. It's not magnetic, but it's supposed to lift with magnet technology for longer lashes. Maybe it's like magnets at the end. I don't know. I'm not really understanding it. It's like okay ratings. I like the Roller Beauty mascara from Benefit. I'm probably gonna take a pass at this one. Also, in scrolling through this, I haven't come across any palettes that have really spoken to my soul. The Bobbi Brown one is, I don't know, it's really highly rated, like people seem really excited about it. Like it just, it's, it's not speaking to me. I don't really have a reason, I just, I don't know. <laughs> is there anything else that I'm missing in like the new in makeup? I feel like we've kind of scrolled through that for now. So let's go into skincare next. Snack time. Ole Hendrickson. The Wrinkle Blur, uh, I'm going to very much butcher that name. Bak Bakchuiol? Bakchuioli. That one. You can see it on the screen. I don't have to explain it. This Wrinkle Blur Eye Cream. I got it in pre R and I have been testing it over the last, mm, I want to say two weeks. And it has been phenomenal. I can't say enough good things about it. And again, it's only been two weeks. I'm still in the process of testing it. This has been amazing for me. And oftentimes I don't see eye creams making a huge significant difference right away, but that one, like, it's, it's incredible. I would highly recommend that one. See what else here. Ooh. I've heard good things about Dr. Barbara here. I have a vitamin C serum by SkinCeuticals that I have been using as of recently. So good. SkinCeuticals isn't on Sephora, but that's a really good vitamin C serum. So I don't need that one. Ooh, the Sol de Janeiro. I feel like I'm the only person left on earth that hasn't tried their magical cream. 
What is it called again? I know it has a like a fun name. What is it? Oh, that's a Brazilian bum bum cream. That's what it was. Everyone loves this cream so much and I haven't tried it yet. What's the scent? Everyone says it's an addictive scent. What's the scent though? Tell me Sephora. Tell me what it is. Notes of salted caramel and pistachio. Mmm. I'm allergic to nuts. That's probably not a good thing. So maybe we'll skip on that. Okay. Oh, Inky List. This is another brand that I have a lot of interest in. So this to me is a brand very similar to The Ordinary, which has made its rounds through TikTok, through, through Sephora. Yes, through Sephora. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, everyone's been loving The Ordinary products because they're apparently very good quality ingredients and they sell it for a much lower price than a lot of other brands do. And Inky List is supposed to be very similar to that in terms of that, again, lower price point, but really good quality ingredients. However, one thing that I've been very interested in for Inky List is actually their hair care, which they don't sell on the Sephora website for whatever reason. I keep looking to see if they're gonna start selling it and I'm just constantly disappointed. So I'm not gonna buy any Inky stuff on Sephora. I'm probably gonna buy it on their website so I can get the hair care. What else do I want to try? What else do I Oh, JLo Beauty. That is something that I'm probably not, I'm not gonna buy. And don't get me wrong, JLo looks phenomenal. She always has and always will. She is a queen. However, I don't know what it is. I haven't seen a lot of people really excited about those products and it just feels like another celebrity brand to me. And if you've tried it, let me know in the comments if there are any products out there within that line that you think are absolutely worth it. But to me, there's nothing in here that's like, need it you know oh you know what we you know what we need to do right now I'm taking you with me to the skincare the skincare cupboard I need to see if I have any more of this like it's an under eye mask and it is so good I'm obsessed with them but I want to see if I have any more just moving all my <laughs> laundry out of the way off the floor it's fine this is it right here it's the peace out puffy eyes oh my goodness these things are ridiculously good Again, just entirely depuffs the under eye area and it makes it just tighter, firmer, and these work like in it, within like 20 minutes, I wanna say. But I feel like I'm running low on them. Yep, only have two left. That's not enough. So I'm gonna repurchase these. And since we're actually in the bathroom anyway, let me share with you guys some products that I have been loving in the skincare realm. And I also have more, by the way, in case you're interested. I'm gonna do, I think a top five on Instagram of a reel of my favorite skincare from Sephora and then a makeup one. Um, but I mean, since we're in here anyway. Welcome guys to my, my little skincare drawer. I have to do that so that I keep my counter space clear. So let's see, of all the things in here from Sephora, what's the thing that I've been using? a lot of, ooh, I know, this one. This is the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. This stuff, like, <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna try and take this off with one hand. Will I be successful? Oh, I think I did it. Look at how much is left. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to repurchase this one too. This is a thick balm that helps to take off any stuck on makeup and just get rid of it. This is part one of any cleansing that I do for my skin. This is just kind of like take everything off. And at least my skin's so buttery smooth. It doesn't irritate my eyes at all. It takes off all of my mascara. Uh, oh, here's the Ali <laughs> Hendrickson product that I talked about. So good. So now going back. Uh, so it's the Peace Out Puffy and the Glow Recipe. Those are the ones I need. Now let's go back to the makeup space. It's a brand over here. And also in case you're wondering why I'm not using my Ember mug, it's because I used it for my coffee this morning and I left it off its charger, so now it's charging and I'm sad. Let's do a little bit in hair care because there is one brand that I feel like I just, I need to be trying and I haven't tried it yet, and that is Olaplex. And it's not new to hair care, but it is something that I want to remember to go and buy. Ooh, Orbe is on here now. Did not know that. Orbe is one of those really fancy <laughs> salon brands. Uh, I didn't know that Sephora now carries it. They're really actually very well known for their gold lust nourishing hair oil. It just, it's very pretty looking, right? Uh, what else we got in here? Oh, I just have chip crumbs all over myself, don't mind me. They have pet shampoo. I don't know why I opened that. I don't have a pet. Ooh, the Briogeo, this is the scalp revival hydration mask um, for dry, itchy scalp. That is something 
that I have been testing over the last, I wanna say three weeks probably. I really like it. It doesn't weigh down my hair and it seems to just calm down my scalp a little bit because it gets really itchy. I'm in this like weird zone with my hair right now where I keep trying to get rid of the grease but then in over drying my scalp, I'm now irritating it so it gets really itchy and then producing more oil to compensate for the fact that it's so dry. So I'm trying to fix that. <laughs> Should I, I wanna look up more stuff from Orbe. Is there something that speaks to me from the brand? I feel like I should try it. Oh my goodness, these bottles are beautiful. Such a pretty brand. Ooh, what's this? This is the Scalp Thickening Hair Treatment Spray. Ooh, highly rated, though again, it's fairly new. It's a powerful formula for thinning hair. It helps strands look and feel fuller, thicker, and healthier. Ooh. Whoops, my hand slipped. I feel like my hair, like post-pregnancy hair loss, just, it wasn't like a one month thing. It's just been going on for like a year now. So my hair is very thin and it's just not as like vibrant as it once was. That $95, oh my God. I'm just gonna scroll past that, pretend I didn't see it. <laughs> Speaking of expensive hair brands. So I was talking to one of my sisters-in-law who used to work in the hair care industry and she recommended for me to try number three. And I don't know a lot about Olaplex, so again, if you know anything, let me know. Number three is a, is a treatment basically that's going to help to repair any breakage that's happened in your hair and just strengthen your hair. But I didn't want my hair to be weighed down and I feel like a lot of the other ones, like the bond maintenance stuff, it seems to be a lot thicker and heavier. Um, the other one was the bonding oil, which is something that a lot of people seem to really enjoy. Uh, I love the one by Briogeo, their little rose oil, which is really pretty, very lightweight. I've been really enjoying that. Maybe we'll try this one, see if it's any good. Add to basket. Is there anything else in the hair world? Well, a lot of Orbe, a lot of Orbe all at once. There was one that I saw, ah, here we go. Mizani, this is new to me. I've never tried anything from this brand before. This is a foaming pre-cleanser with direct to scalp application that helps your scalp feel balanced and refreshed, clean slate prior to using shampoo. That sounds really interesting, super highly rated. I'm gonna give it a go. There was one other product, someone was telling me about it the other day. I don't, or something about a ghost. It was a ghost something. A little spooky. Ghost. I'm just gonna type ghost into Sephora and see what comes up. Oh, go, yeah, okay. <laughs> by verb. I knew it had something to do with ghosts. I saw this a while ago and I didn't buy it because I'm like, I'm gonna wait until the Sephora sale and you know, save some money. This is supposed to weightlessly cleanse a fine and easily weighed down hair, which just like, that's, that's the definition of my hair. Fine, easily weighed down hair tends to look like a greasy monkey after a day. Whoops, put that right in the cart. So now I wanna kinda of go through specific brands that I've heard some things about and is new, but not so new that it's on the first, like just dropped page kind of thing. Um, so one of them obviously is Merit, although I feel like most of the things in my cart right now are it's from Merit. Okay, so I have the mascara, the cream blush, and the tinted lip oil. That feels like a lot. Let's see this foundation, st oh, they don't have my shade. Okay, that's fine. The Sephora collection has a couple of products that I've seen recently that people seem really excited about. Go, click, I clicked it. Oh, this is one, okay. The Flushed Blush, I think is supposed to be a dupe for the Glossier Cloud Paint. So I thought I would maybe try, <laughs> maybe try it when it is no longer out of stock. The other was their best ever foundation. A lot of people seem to really love it. It's not super new, but like new enough. I'm gonna go for 10N. It seems like it would be like a pretty decent fit. So I'm gonna try that and we'll see. And then I think the only other one I want to check out, I didn't see it on the main page. Marc Jacobs has a new concealer, which something to do with caffeine. <laughs> so I was immediately interested. There it is. The extra shot of caffeine concealer and foundation. This seemed really interesting to me. It's a two-in-one product. Very blendable, looks amazing on the skin. Filter-like look, very natural, glowy. Oh, if you have oily skin, I would not recommend this one. I don't have oily skin. 
so that's good to know though. Buildable, super silky, I mean this all sounds great to me. And then now the fun dance of picking the shade. 150, light with neutral undertones. Done. Okay everyone, I feel like color chalk multi-use pigments. What's that? What, what is this? A powder pigment that glides on smoothly for buildable payoff on eyes, cheeks, and lips. Oh, oh, people don't like it. Smells like cinnamon. Should not be used on the eyes. Don't waste your money! Exclamation marks! The shade trampoline was so dry and gritty it felt like sandpaper on my eyes. Ooh, that paints a picture. That paints a picture that I do not want to be a part of. Okay, goodbye! Okay, you know what? Let's go into the cart and start like culling some stuff. I'm very proud of myself that I somehow came up to a round number of $500. I don't know why, but like I'm very pleased with that. All right, we are going through, we are scrolling, we are reviewing. So the Mazzani, the scalp pre-cleanse, I have the Brioche one, which is fairly similar. So I'm gonna hold on to that because I have the Orbe and the Olplex stuff that I do want to test. Um, so I'm gonna, I don't know why there's two in here, but um, <laughs> removed. What else do we not need? I mean, I can justify pretty, pretty much any <laughs> makeup related purchase. Okay, let's stick to one Olaplex product. So I'm probably gonna go with the number three perfecter. What people have been saying is that you either really love it and it entirely fixes everything with your hair or you hate it and it destroys it, which is very terrifying. So maybe one product at a time. And then I feel good about this cart. It has a good mix of different types of products that, oh, I almost forgot the products we needed to stock up on. Oh my gosh, that would have been embarrassing. Puff eyes mask. I'm glad Sephora knew what I was talking about. Add to cart. So good guys, they are so good. And then the other one was the glow recipe. Glow recipe enzyme. Awesome. Add to cart. And you know what? I feel really good about our cart today. I feel like there are some good products across a bunch of different boards that I'm really excited to test out and play around with. If any of those products seem really interesting to you that you want to see me use in sort of like a first impression video, leave me a comment down below. Let me know which ones are like really are intriguing for you. And let me know if there are any products that you're interested in buying from the sale. I will link everything down below for you guys if you want to support and use those links if you are interested in buying anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more of these kind of like shop with me esque videos we could do clothing home decor kitchen gadgets we can do more makeup and skincare shopping let me know give this video a thumbs up so i know that you enjoy it and check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any recently i hope you guys are having a fantastic fantastic thursday i will see you guys all in my next video love you all Mwah.